the former head of NFL refs and rules analyst for Fox, back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, sir? You know, it's always been great to be on the Rich Eisen Show. It's always been great to get a potential rule change from you, all of that stuff. So it's fantastic. It makes my Mondays. Well, as you know, Mike, um, I was talking about I thought that the catch rule was handled. We haven't really had too many of those problems. Now my windmill I am tilting at is the uh, the roughing the passer rule. Uh, and it seems like whatever was discussed last Wednesday, even though they did not change the language and they did not change the emphasis, they changed something because uh, th- th- I didn't see a lot of the uh, nonstop flags on the front. The flags I saw on those penalties were, were mostly merited, except for, I think, Arden Key breathed on, uh, on right. Baker Mayfield and won. Right. What, are you, what are you hearing of what, was, what was, went down in that conversation last see, week? See, I, I think if you, you know, this, there was no rule change. We understand that. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you look at language that came out of that, they, they said some things that to me were reminiscent of what they did with the initiating contact with the helmet when they came out and said it's not a foul if it's incidental or inadvertent. And as soon as they said that, boom, it disappeared off the face of the earth because it gave officials latitude to not call those iffy ones. And when they said in after this conference call that they didn't change the rules, but they talked about techniques and it's those techniques that made the difference, the technique of putting your arm down to brace yourself when you hit the ground, the technique of attempting to get to the side when you're landing on top of the quarterback. And, and that's what has led to the change. And I just looked at a whole series of plays mm-hmm. where, where players did a good job when they, were got, when they were put in that situation of coming up from the middle and wrapping up, kind of like Clay Matthews did. They did a good job of extending their arms, going to the ground to try to brace their falls, and they weren't called roughing the passer when they were prior to this. So there was really only one, and it was C.J. Beathard of the 49ers that got driven into the ground mm-hmm. and Literally, the defender there wrapped him up and took him, slammed him into the ground, yep. and never extended his arms. And that was called, and that's the only one. And I think that's the way that it should be. And so, hopefully, we're going to be through with this and not have to talk about this. And we'll get a catch no catch controversy that's going to bring mm, us mm, all mm, back mm, to normalcy. Nope. And we'll start talking about what a catch is. No, Mike, I think that's fixed. I've, you do? I, I do. I, I'm, we're, we're, we've got one game left in week four. Everything that I've seen, and, and I've seen even ones where I knew for a fact last year it would have been reversed or non-touchdown or whatever, and they just leave it alone. Well, I hope you're right. I know that we saw one that we felt would have been reversed, but their philosophy, this was a... Which one? This was really a... I don't remember which team it was, but it was because it wasn't one of our games, but it was a catch, and on the field they ruled the ball, ruled that the receiver had the ball long enough, but but he didn't, but they stayed with it because... Are you talking about Kenny Galladay on Sunday Night Football creasing the end zone against the New England Patriots? No, 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 no. That wasn't the one, but I wish I had a better memory to remember. But I just kind of glanced at it that we thought it would have been incomplete, but they left it as it was because he got control, got both feet down, Mm -hmm. and the officials on the field ruled that he kept it long enough, and they stayed with it. So they're doing that, which I think you know, brings in common sense and stays with what the officials call is. So I, I hope that's the case. And like you say, we're, we're one game away from being completed in week four. And, and, and I don't know what we're going to talk about. If in fact, this roughing the passer thing goes away. Well, as long as there's uh, the Cleveland Browns versus Oakland Raider type yeah. games, so there'll be lots to discuss. Mike Pereira, what do you say to Browns fans this morning based on what was, what happened yesterday? Well, you know, I, I, I struggled overnight with this, um, you know, because from our studios, we kind of pretty strongly said that it shouldn't have been reversed. Um, but when I went back and looked at this morning again, and we're talking about the measurement that took the first down away yes. and uh, made it short and forced the punt when it, when essentially if it would have stayed a first down, they could have run out the clock. Um, I think he's short. I mean, I, I look at the live shot, the line feed, as we call it, mm-hmm. and 
in some ways you have to piece it together, but you know the first thing that hits is the forearm and elbow. And to me, he's not at the 19-yard line where he needs to get. And so I, even though I went on uh, – I went on the air in Cleveland today and talked about how I didn't feel there was enough to overturn it. And, you know, we were talking about angles, you know, or Dean's talking about angles with this angle, you know, it make distorts it here. But it's the line feed that's no angle. It's shot right down the line. And I think I would say to Cleveland, although you got burned on a fumble call where they ruled the quarterback was in the grasp, um, and that was not a good call. Baker Mayfield was hitting the head in the end of the game. That wasn't called and should have been called. But when it comes to the to the measurement thing, uh, I mean, I think New York got it right. Well, I mean, let, let's let's just take it one at a time here. I mean, I. I... I couldn't tell anything that was clear and obvious to to overturn a first down call, Mike. So you're I saying think if you were here with me right now yes. and I got to show you the video frame by frame, I think I could convince you, okay. and I think I can convince you fairly easily. Okay, so then let's uh, let's place that one aside. Um, the uh, in the grasp call, if we as uh, Chiefs fans will 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 always mention last right. year's playoff game, right? Uh, and then this call from yesterday. Why can't replay say, okay, it was blown dead, but it's so obvious that the ball came out, and it was obvious that the ball came out on the other side of humanity that Walt Anderson couldn't see it. Why can't they give the ball to Cleveland after it was a clear recovery by Cleveland when that well, ball came out? Just I mean, wipe I away think, the return. I think you, maybe this is your eyes and point for this year. If they rule in the grasp and if you have actual clear and obvious video that the ball is out before he's even in the grasp, which was the case, um, Maybe you ought to be able to review that. I, I, could, I could get behind that. Now, if he's being wrapped up by somebody and, and then the ball comes out, no matter how quick it is, then that's a different story. But in this case, in this case, I mean, there was not progress was ruled. It was in the grasp and nobody had him in the grasp and the ball was out. And uh, I, I, th I think I actually, although I'm not a proponent of adding plays to instant replay, um, I think that might be one I would consider consider adding. If, in fact, the ball is out before the quarterback is actually in anybody's grasp, then maybe replay could turn it over. And if there is the recovery and the immediate action after the play, then give the ball to the defense. I support that, actually. Okay, Mike. So what do we do with this now? Oh, well, then it's got to be. Look at. I mean, you got the tuck play done. You got that. You got the catch thing done. Check that box. This. This this maybe maybe isn't well. It's big in this particular it case. Is. Maybe it's not as tough, but it I, was I think, huge in last I year's playoffs, got, Mike. It, no, it, I I know, but and in, in, I I agree. Now I'm not. I mean, that one was even a ruling of forward progress, which there was no. Maybe if the ball's out before there's any forward progress, same right. thing. I, I you know uh, it, it becomes a. Bit, I, I kind of agree. It becomes a bit of a cop out. It's be a, you know if you're on the field, you could just say, hey, I'm going to rule forward progress, and then it can't be reviewed. I'm I'm I'm. I'm, I think I'm jumping into your bandwagon okay. on this one. All I'm, right, so I'm going to do that. What else am I missing before I let you go, Mike? That uh, you think the first four weeks we're not discussing, or the NFL front office is discussing that hasn't reached top of mind yet because that hasn't affected a win loss or a major first down. Yet. Well, I'll tell you what's interesting to me is we all talked about the new four new referees and the adjustments that they're going to have to make and and how it's going to be difficult for them. But the problems we're discussing, they're with the veterans. They're not with the new guys. And, um, and I find that kind of fascinating that the, the youngsters, so to speak, have seemed to develop really pretty quickly. And so, um, you know, I'm still looking at the game and I'm seeing certain officials that certain referees – that I do think it's time that they really consider retirement, um, whether it's voluntary or maybe mandatory. But I, I think based Ooh. on how these young guys are uh, performing, you know, maybe it's time for another set of new guys to occupy that position. Okay. And where's Ed these days? He's there. I mean, he's a consultant now. So he's making Ed's he's consultant? making the rounds talking about what roughing the passer is. I remember I remember him saying to me before he left, When I leave, I'm not I don't want anything to do with the NFL. I'm Come gonna on. get in my motorhome and drive around the country and now I read about him trying to defend the roughing the passer calls as the 
league officiating department consultant. So he really hasn't. Oh my gone gosh, away. he's still in the mix. He has not gone away. All right, Mike. I appreciate the two sides. <laughs> Let's chat again soon. Thanks you for the call. It. Thanks. You. you got it. That's Mike Pereira, Fox Sports at Mike Pereira. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.